and welcome back to my channel. Um, today I want to talk to you about water quality and the importance of drinking good quality water. Um, so there's all types of water out there. Um, I don't know about you, but I personally can taste the difference in water. Water is so important to our overall health um, and it plays so many roles and the quality of water that you're drinking can actually affect um, your health. It can affect your um, if you're feeling depressed, um, it can affect even, um, depending on the quality of water that you're drinking, it can affect um, like even your bones. Um, that, that's how um, important water quality is. Um, so I'm just going to get into a little bit here. Um, I don't think this will be a long video, but um, so first of all, um, tap water, I would never ever drink tap water in a million years. And I personally don't even like to shower in tap water. If you can get a filter for your shower, that's also important because our skin is the largest organ on the body. And anything that goes onto the, the skin, um, your body's absorbing that. So um, one of the, the things that, um, one of the main things in water that can affect your health is fluoride. And they poison our water with all kinds of fluoride and it's in your tap water it's in some of the bottled water that you buy and some filter um, systems don't even take out the fluoride. So it's very important to get water that is fluoride free. Um, and um, this video is not mainly on fluoride, but it, it's a huge, it's a huge thing. Um, I highly recommend doing some research on fluoridation, but um, fluoride is actually not even FDA approved. Um, you can go onto the FDA website and see that for yourself. And um, it is actually considered a, a drug more than anything. So why would you be drinking a drug that is not even um, measured for your body or your type or you might be allergic to this stuff and it's in your water. And 99.9% and .9 of the time you're going to be allergic to this fluoride because of the side effects that it has. Um, one of the side effects is um, depression. Um, it, it eats away at your bones. It even causes um, um, decay on your teeth. Um, there's this website, floridalert.org. I highly recommend you go and check it out. But um, even on your toothpaste, uh, your toothpaste uh, states that if you, dr you swallow more than a pea-sized amount um, to contact, contact a poison control center. So. I don't know about you, but whenever I brush my teeth, I do way more than a pea sized amount. So um, it's poison. <laughs> it says right on your toothpaste, you know, contact the poison control center. So um, there's a reason why they have that warning on your toothpaste. So um, definitely do your research on fluoride and 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 um, alternatives. It it's even proven they've done tests that it doesn't even help the health of your teeth. Um, I think from what I remember, I, I wrote a paper on this some time ago, but like I remember reading that um, fluoride, what did I read? Ah, yes, I remember reading that fluoride, um, they actually used it um, back in the um, concentration camps and they were using it to poison some of their people. Um, so it's not good for you at all and it actually calcifies the pineal gland as well, which is um, a gland that's right here in the middle of your forehead, also known as the third eye. And if that's calcified, you're not gonna be getting um, enough melatonin production when you sleep. And it also affects your intuition. Um, it, it, it produces a lot of um, good feeling hormones that your body needs, and that's where the depression comes from. So if you're drinking fluoride, um, that could be calcifying your pineal gland, which um, could lead to depression. If you're not getting sleep, it's all like, it all rolls up into a big ball and affects one thing and it goes into the next. So pay attention to the quality of water that you're drinking. Um, Okay, so with that, um, you know, they even have different types, like you have pH water now. Um, and if you don't know about pH, uh, I think level one is highly acidic and I think it goes up to like 10 and that's um, extremely um, the opposite of acidic. Um, so it would be balanced and, and it will help to make your body alkalized. So 
I of course want to bring in some scripture here because why not? God is so cool and I just want to um, you know, talk about his provisions for us and, and, and in relation to water. So basically, um, there's a scripture in the Bible that says that, um, there's a scripture in the Bible, 2 Corinthians 9 verse 8. It says, and God is able to bless you abundantly so that in all things at all times, having all that you need, you will abound in every good work. So God, um, part of a spiritual law, all of our needs must be provided for. So basically God provides for all of our needs and water is one of the, our main needs to survive. You cannot live without water. So um, good quality water is, high, is, is so important to your health. Um, so pay attention to that. Um, and do your research on water too. Matt Blackburn, uh, he's a little bit out there, but he has some excellent information on how to clean your water, um, different tools to use for your water. Um, he does, his main choice is distilled water. So he has a distiller machine to make um, distilled water and that takes out the fluoride and all the chemicals. And then he also um, adds oxygen back into the water. So he has some excellent stuff. There's also um, machines that do reverse osmosis that takes out fluoride and all the other chemicals. And um, you can also buy some bottled water. Um, if they say reverse osmosis, it's probably better than the rest, but they're probably still adding fluoride back into it um, just because they like to poison us. <laughs> um, but thankfully, there are options. And um, this right here, it's called Essence alkaline hydration pH 10 um, I like this one a lot it's uh, I don't know if you can see it but it says no sodium uh, no chlorine it's chlorine chlorine free and fluoride free so this is really good water taste is great and um, there it's fluoride free which is awesome not a lot of waters um, say fluoride free they um, they say contact our company to find out more about this water so if they have that straight on the bottle you're good um, and then also if you can get water in a glass bottle that is your best option because plastic leaches into your water and then that also causes um, some other stuff but this right here um, this is like one of the best waters I have found ever um, it's uh, from this place called mother nature's remedy I don't know if you can see that um, it looks like it's backwards but anyway it says activated magnetized revitalized and alkalized and this is also fluoride free I did check with the um, provider of this water um, but this is one of the best tasting waters I've ever had and it's in glass so you know that you're not getting any other chemicals or plastics with it so um, pay attention and um, you know if, if you don't want to be spending essentially the money you're spending on this bottled water I think this is like 253 bucks a bottle same for that glass bottle um, but over time I don't know for me I spend like 20 bucks a week on water so um, if you buy a machine in the long run it's essentially gonna be the same amount of money it's just um, if you want to do all that work I don't know it's up to you um, but look into it a machine is definitely an ex excellent way to go a distiller machine um, this one is a alkalizing machine so that's I believe those take the fluoride out too okay so going back to my scripture really quick um, and I just want to tell you guys um, and I'll, I'll do another video on this but it is so cool with the Bible because our words that we speak have power and words are spirits and so when you speak it um, it's magic you're speaking stuff out there so God provides everything to you. If you're gonna speak it, you're gonna get it. So um, you want clean water, speak it out there into the atmosphere. Um, you need some more needs provided for, speak it. Um, ask for your needs to be met and ask for specifically what you want or what you need. Um, but I hope this helps and uh, you know, look for good quality water. It is so important. Everything that you put into your body, your body is your temple. Put nothing but the best in there and um, your body will be overjoyed and and the quality of water I cannot stress enough it is so important to drink good water um, and stay away from Arrowhead that is one of the worst ones out there um, and, and and make sure it says reverse osmosis or that it says you know fluoride free that that's why that one is one of my favorites um, 
but yeah um thank you for watching my video uh i look forward to seeing you again in the next one i'll have some more coming again soon this was just a little short video i wanted y'all to see about um, drinking good quality water because that is so important to health um, okay and if you have any questions for me on um, quality of water um, what options are good for you and um, brands and stuff send me a message I don't mind helping you out and um, again do some research on water um, knowledge is power okay uh, thank you again for watching I look forward to seeing you in the next video peace